Barack Tayahawa, Barack Tayahawa Shai, Barack Tayahawa, Barack Tayahawa Shai, Barack Tayahawa, Barack Tayahawa Shai, Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash, you know, Shalawam to your Akims out there. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory praises to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Next up, the Bahans, the Apostles and the Elders, the Great Millstone, who taught us the truth. According to the Bible, and still, and still go out there to the houses and bowers and preach the truth according to the Bible. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to your Akims out there pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and the sincerity. And uh, I just want to make a lesson on um, this, can be centered around this scripture right here. Um, so I'm going to start with this scripture. This is the book of Romans, <clears throat> chapter 13, verse 11. And that Knowing the time that now is the high time to wake out of sleep. Yeah, knowing the time. What time is that, man? The time of Jacob's trouble. The time of World War Three, And the time that Yahabai Shema is about to come back to this earth, man. And knowing the time that it is high time to wake out of sleep, man. And does that mean physically, man? No. It means spiritual. It's time for you to get out of the doctrines and the philosophies of America, man. Stop celebrating holidays. Stop celebrating your birthday. Stop putting your trust in the system. Stop worshiping money. Stop relying on your job, man. It's time for you to wake out of sleep, man. You know, you got to come out of the ways of America, man. Start uh, start getting into the mind of mindset of your how about Shim Sha, which is these scriptures, man. It's time for you. To to uh to stop uh stop living in la la land and coming to the reality world, man. You know that. And so let me read that again. Uh, let me read that again. This is the book of Romans, chapter thirteen, verse eleven. Knowing that, knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. So now that our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. You know, we know that our salvation is nigh, man. We know that Yahweh Shema Shah is nigh, man. We know that we are close, man. We know that we are close to the kingdom, man. Therefore, it's time for you to wake out of sleep so you won't get caught out there, man. You know what I mean? Because the time that's coming upon the earth is uh, no man has ever seen, man. Yahweh Shema Shah about to make it terrible out here, man. You know? That's why it's time for you to wake out of sleep and come and do the work of Yahweh Shema Shah and stop messing around, man. How about Shema Shah is not playing? You know, it's time for you to wake out of sleep, man. You know, that alarm clock of sounding, which is the men of the Lord out there on the highways of byways, trying to warn you of the calamities as to come, man. And you need to wake up, get out of the bed, and go do the work, man. It's time for you to get out the bed. It's time for you to, to stop laying around, man. Stop being stop laying around. It's time for you to get up and go do the work of your how about Shema Shah, man. You know, go listen to the men of the Lord, go home, study, get your notepads and all that. It's time for you to wake out of sleep, man. You know what I mean? No more laying around, eating ice cream and stuff like that. Nah, man. It's time for you to wake out of sleep and go do the work, man. You know? It's time for you to do your spiritual exercise, man. You know what I mean? It's time for you to do your spiritual exercise. So this is so I'm gonna just jump from that and go to the book of Proverbs, chapter one, verse twenty-two. Uh, no, I'll start from twenty. Wisdom cries without or outside. She utter for voice in the streets. Yeah, man, that's the men of the Lord, man. We crying out to you, according to uh, Isaiah fifty-eight and one. And we in the streets, man, in the chief, in the chief place of concourse, man, where everybody, where all nations are, man, where there's a whole bunch of traffic at, the downtown area, man. We out there um, in the streets, man, we're crying out, you know. She cried for the chief place of concourse and the openings of the gate. Yo, that's in the downtown area where there's a bunch of traffic, where they, you know what I mean, there's gates around and stuff like that, a bunch of commerce, a bunch of businesses, a bunch of nations and people. You know what I mean? That's the chief place of concourse in the downtown area. In the city, she uttered for words saying, we utter our words saying, how long you simple ones will you love simplicity? Yeah, how long you simple ones are you going to love simplicity, man? How long are you going to keep being asleep, man? How long are you going to keep just laying around doing nothing, man? 
Not standing up for your stuff, not standing up for the people, and ultimately standing up for the Lord, man. How long? How long are you going to do that, man? You know? Here it is, the alarm clock is sounding and sounding and sounding, and you just want to keep laying there, man. How long? You know what I mean? We love How long you sip when we love simplicity, man? How long are you going to keep living in la-la land, man? How long are you just going to keep just, just sitting around doing nothing, man? Not doing nothing for the Lord, man? How long? How long are you going to keep trusting in America? You know what I mean? How long are you going to keep thinking that the so-called white man is your friend, which is the devil, according to the scriptures, which only means deceiver, man? You know how long? And scorn is delight in their scorning. Which the scoffers, how long you scorn is going to lighten your scorning, man? You know, keep bucking up against the men of the Lord. Keep slandering us, blaspheming us, lying on us. How long are you going to keep doing that, man? It's time for you to wake out of sleep out of that mindset and come to you by Shimei al Shah before it's too late. And fools hate knowledge. How long are you going to keep hating the wisdom and knowledge and understanding these scriptures which the men of the Lord started with the elders and apostles, I mean the apostles and the elders on down, man, are preaching to you, man. How long are you going to hate the, the, the how long are you going to hate the scriptures, man? Which is not of our words. This is your how about Shimei al Shah's words, man. Because you're not despising us. You're despising your how about Shimei al Shah, man. And the scripture tells you that, man. Your how Shah said that his own self, man. You know? Um... Con, con. So that was the point on that. So we're gonna jump from that to Matthew. Cause this this whole this whole lesson around is is is, is how is uh it's high time to wake out of sleep, man. It's it's it's, it's time, man. How long are you gonna keep loving, doing stupid stuff? How long are you gonna keep on being a nigga? How long are you gonna keep being a, a whore? You know what I mean? A spick. You know what I mean? A tomahawk. How long are you gonna keep? How long are you gonna keep being that, man? It's time. It's high time for you to wake out of sleep. Knowing the times that we're approaching, man. It's time to wake up. It's time to get up and stop being lazy. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 11 and chapter 4, verse 17. This is a precept of, um, this could go with, uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. For that time, Yahweh Shah began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So yeah, man. So we doing the same thing Yahweh Shah did, man. We saying we're saying the same message that Yahweh Shah did, which was the uh the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Cause Yahweh Shah said, I'm not doing I'm not doing my will, I'm doing the will of him that sent me, man. They tell you that in St. John. I think it's the third chapter. You know what I mean? So um so yeah, we're preaching that the kingdom of heaven is near, man. So by by we saying the kingdom of heaven is near, it's time for you to start hearkening and get out of that mindset that um that uh, that the kingdom of heaven ain't coming or that it's uh it's not gonna come in our lifetime, man. That's you being asleep, man. That's you being asleep thinking in that that mentality, man. Like that, man. It's time for you to wake up and get out of that mentality and hearken unto the Yahweh Shimon Shah's prophets, which are the uh starting with the head apostles. And uh, saying that the kingdom of heaven is coming, man. That you are the biblical Hebrew Israelites and that salvation is for you, man. You know? If you have the elect. Because if you're 2 thirds, you're just going to have to die. But it's the, the kingdom of heaven is still for you. Because uh, of uh, by Shemel Shah's mercy, man. So we out there preaching that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And it's time for you. That's the alarm. That's the alarm right there. Us preaching, us preaching that the kingdom of heaven has come, is coming, and it is near. It's time for you to wake out of sleep, man. That's the alarm clock going off, sounding off, and it's time for you to 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 to, to wake up and, and start moving around, man. You know. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the apocrypha. This is Sirach, chapter twenty, like chapter seventeen, verse twenty-seven. Hold on, wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, might be seven. Hold on. Let's see. Which, which one is it? Seven. Dang, where that scripture at? Let me see. Hold on. Uh. Dang, I forgot, man. I wrote the wrong scripture down. Bear with me for one moment, Akim. Ah, man. Let me see. 
I it's, it's in my other sword. I know it in my other sword. Ah man. So I guess I close it out with that, you know. But yeah, man. The more, like I said, like I always say in my in the end of my videos, the moral of the the conclusion of my, this message, this video is that it's time to wake out of sleep, man. It's time for you to stop being lazy and go preach the words of how about Shimon Shah, man. It's time for you to go see the men of the Lord and start learning from the men of the Lord. Started with the head apostles on down, man. Go to your local camp and start, start, start working, man. Get out your bed and start working. You know? That's why I read all those scriptures. Proverbs, how long you sip ones when you love simplicity, man? How long you, you going to keep being asleep? You know what I mean? The kingdom of heaven is at, at hand, man. You know what I mean? There's no time to be sleepy anymore. The kingdom of heaven is nigh, man. And destruction is coming. You know? So with that, Lord willing, this video was edifying for your Akims out there. Through the spirit and the power of your high by Shimia Sha. Before I be end this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and to his only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash. Next up, the honors to the apostles and to the elders, a great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible. And he'll still go out there to the house of Bowers and preach us the truth according to the Bible. And peace and blessings and safety, peace, blessings and safety and mercy until your eye came out there pushing truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and insincerity. With that, I say Shalom, Kwame Ashwala.